Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The dependency of Indian defense equipment on Russia and prolonged Russia-Ukraine conflict is delaying various upgrade and acquisition of various programs of Indian Armed Forces. As you are aware that Su-30 MKI forms the backbone of Indian Air Force with 260 fighters in service. Air Force has planned to add additional 12 Su-30 MKIs. These fighters were supposed to be the most advanced fighter jets with latest electronic warfare capabilities. The deal worth rupees 20,000 crore. This deal has been delayed as Russia is asked to add more made in India content into the fighter as per the current policy of the government to promote Indian defense products over imports and reduce the dependency on foreign OEMs. A lot have been discussed regarding the Super Sukhoi program where the Indian Air Force was planning to upgrade 85 of their fighters to the latest standards in collaboration with Russia and HAL. The plan was to equip Su-30 MKIs with more powerful radar and latest electronic warfare capabilities to make it more powerful as per latest standard. However, the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict had put this plan as well on the back burner for now in the view of the present situation. If you are closely following our updates, you would know that Indian Air Force have already started multiple upgrade activity on Super Sukhoi with indigenous components. HL and BEL has recently signed a contract for co-development and co-production of long-range dual-band indigenous infrared search and track system IRST for Su-30 MKI. It will be under make to subcategory and minimum 100 of them will be procured. As you all know that DARE had also developed all digital radar warning receiver named Dhruti for Su-30 MKI fleet which is based on its experience of D-29RWR developed for MiG-29 UPG fleet. Back in August last year, it was reported that Indian Air Force is going ahead with rupees 1000 crore project for the grade of RWR for the fleet of 125 Su-30 MKIs. Officially, these two upgrades are confirmed for Su-30 MKIs. We have also reported multiple times regarding the delay of spare required for the fighter jets, tank and other military hardware originated from Russia and Ukraine due to ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. The situation is manageable now because India has stockpiled them in considerable amount post the Yuri surgical strikes and ongoing China conflict. However, this can be serious concern if the Russia-Ukraine conflict prolongs for long. Recently, we have also reported regarding broken supply chain of composite materials which is heavily used in HL's aircraft and helicopters. These challenging times are making us realize the importance of our Nirbharta. There are many shortcomings in our defense procurement which now has to be passed with indigenous components. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.